<laughs> Hi, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What's up with you guys today? Want to do a little reading for you? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Feel free to swap around the characters. This is a general read, so I could be talking to a cross-watcher. Keep that in mind. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome! Welcome in. Thank you to all the great subscribers and uh, the new folks. Come on in, and if you like the content I'm making, please feel free to subscribe, like, and share. Okay. Let's see where we're going here. Deep breath, people. I see Rose coming in. Hi, Rose. To the sea. Clean it up. Not for you. I think you got to follow your intuition on this one, okay? Because you see how she is in this boat and she's basically set a course for herself, okay? She set a course for herself. And as she's traveling along there on the, on the flow of her feelings, right? Allowing that that is really your true intuition. That is your true um, compass, right? She's got, a, she's got a, a weather vane there. She's got binoculars, but she's not really, she's guiding this with her higher self. You see the higher self up there? I don't know if you can barely see that. Um, <clears throat> guiding it through her feelings. So there's some things here that need to be left behind, right? Not for you. There's something that's not for you. I like the fortune cookie here. It's like, oh my goodness. There's just somebody lingering, malingering, something, something that is hanging around. I'll use my uh, Barbara Moore deck here. And it's like one final thing that needs to happen. Um, you could be dealing with someone in, at work or in your work that is kind of, uh, I don't know if they're blocking your way, but they're hanging around, not really doing anything, not really being very productive at all. This, this relationship is just something that needs to be swept out. Whisk, whisk it away. All right, so let's see where we go here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is for May 27th and May 28th. It's not necessarily about those days. It's about when the message wants to come through, okay? So, Eight of Cups. King of Swords. Woo! Okay, King of Swords, Devil Energy. Oh, my word. Queen of Swords. Wow! Could be dealing with another air sign or a Capricorn here. Something is definitely done, okay? Something is definitely done. I feel like this person might be depressed or might have some mental illness, some grandiose idea about themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. King of Wands, Five of Swords. All right, so in the past, not really taking any action. All right, you might have known that this person was um, dealing with some kind of mental illness or some kind of addiction or something they got problems okay underneath is this eight of cups that's you walking away from the situation and you guys have been very um tied together i think there's been a lot of love here or a lot of sex a lot of power a lot of passion but now both of you in your air sign energy truth Seeing the truth about this situation. And as I said last week, asking a lot of questions. All right, so something is coming to an end. Victor you are victorious over something, over this situation. Vic victorious over this devil. And it doesn't make you that happy. I mean, you know, this is not something that you really wanted um, to let go of. Okay, because you didn't. <laughs> you didn't. But I think you were thinking that this person was the King of Wands, the person you're looking for. And in reality, in reality, they are playing games, playing games. 
okay? And they're playing games because they're not really uh, available. <coughs> not really available in some way. Ten of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Magician. So this person has this fantasy, beautiful idea of the relationship with you, but look at what's going on with them. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. What's the, the reality of the situation does not match what they're saying, but it also doesn't match how they're feeling. Okay? Um, they have a very grandiose image of themselves. All right, they really do. I, they could be having financial problems. They could be having trouble with a previous relationship that's still hanging around. They could have been cheated on in the past and they've just never gotten over it. So they don't trust anybody. They've just never gotten over it. They're always very um, guarded. They don't tell you much. You ask how they're doing, they say fine. But in reality, they're just wanting to keep all of the truth to themselves. You see all those swords? They're just wanting to hold on to all of what's being said. They want to be in control of the conversation. They feel like that's their right. Okay. Um, they ended something. And I think they told you they, they won or they were victorious or something like that, but they're not, they were not. Okay. And they're still stuck in that. This is not something that is new either. It's not new. Knight of cups, four of wands, sun, nine of cups. Um, this is what they envision. They really want to be with you. This person is very um, interested in making a commitment. They want that from you for sure, right? This is exactly what they're looking for. You're exactly what they want. I see a lot of fire energy here too. Um, Leo, Aries, Sag, Capricorn, other air sign. So we'll look at those in the extended. My sense is though that they're battling to keep, it's keeping this secret or keeping this as a secret, right? See all the fives here? Fives are about change, and change can be a little uncomfortable sometimes. And so this person has been out in the cold, has been struggling, has been, you know, trying to win the game, take, you know, winner take all kind of thing. And they're behaving like the magician. Like they've really, um, they got it all together. I don't think they do. Very guarded indeed and very, um, in their private moments, they could be depressed in some way. Now there's a decision here. There's some kind of choice that needs to be made. And I feel like this person may, um, I do feel like you are very strong. I feel like you could be the king of swords here. They're the queen of swords. I feel like you're very strong and you know that you could move on without this person. I feel like this other person would be devastated if that happened, but yet they're still not communicating. I mean, are they, um, <clears throat> they could still be connected to a, a relationship in the past. Okay. Maybe they're not sharing all the information about what's going on with them. Still be connected to this romantic past. Hierophant, yes, commitment, six of swords, page of pentacles, knight of swords. They do not want to start over, okay? I think they're angry about starting over, or they were very angry with that other person and that they had to start over. It's like once they got married, they check box, right? Like, oh, like I don't have to work on it anymore. I just check the box because that's what I'm supposed to be doing at this time in my life, check box. And then I focus on other things. I focus on my work or I focus on my next goal, right? This person seems to be very goal oriented and um, there's no such word as orientated. Okay. Um, so this person wants to move, uh, move forward with you. They also could be 
um, only having a small amount to offer. Because of them leaving their previous relationship, they don't have much to offer you. And so I feel like that's why they, um, that could be one of the reasons why they're fixated on the past. Because they're ang still angry about it, okay? still They're still angry about it. Um, but you, <clears throat> you will make it all better, magically. It's magically delicious, okay? You're going to make their life magically better. That seems like magical thinking to me uh, because they are also very stubborn and a little manipulative. I don't think that they would see themselves that way. I think that they would just be like, well, I'm just tr trying to do to get what I want. Isn't that what everybody does? Yes, it is what everybody does. But this feels a little dishonest to me. Like there's some things that you should know. There's some things that you should know. And they full well know that if you do know these things, you might say this isn't for you. Right? Could be could be some big, big debt, big money issues, could be problems with other people, could be problems with their business. There's just some stuff. I mean, look, I just want to know. Just want to know. So I can make decisions, and this person's not giving you that. They're not giving you the full story. All right, so I'm going to continue on with this. We'll look at the full story. Um, another air sign, likely Capricorn or another fi or a fire sign. All right, I'm seeing that. It also could be that there is a lot of passion in this relationship. This person sees themselves as like the conquering hero, but yet they have some baggage here that I don't feel like they're telling you about. I think they think you're the perfect person for them. And, like, they don't want to mess it up by telling you some inconvenient truths. Okay? All right. I'm going to continue on with this reading. This is May, uh, what is it? May 27th and 28th air sign reading. The link is below. I'll see you over there.